Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman, along with a very special guest that you might be familiar to because he's a local teacher at uh, the Elementary School of the Creative Arts right here in Beaufort County. His name is Matt Bowman, but he's also the founder of a local grassroots toy drive that we're right we ju that just started on November 1st. Matt, it's go so good to see you it's again. It's great to see you too. <laughs> we were just talking about how all of this started. This is the sixth annual toy drive. Mm -hmm. But let's go back to six years ago, and it was just, you just had this small idea, and now it's grown exponentially over the six years. So yeah, six years ago, you know, we'd always kind of had like a, a Christmas party at our house, and right. you know, had our, our close friends over, and you know, you bring this <laughs> dish of food, we'll bring this, and we right. always end up with a leftovers. So we changed it up one year, and we said, let's all bring a toy, and we'll find a, a local charity to donate to, because you know, we're all very, you know, so lucky in our lives, right. we wanted to pass that along and just try to help you know, kids have a, a memorable Christmas. And it started off, we donated about 50 toys that first year, yeah. Have you always been with Deep Well? So it's been for the Deep Well Santa Shop. Yeah, Deep okay. Well has been the one we've stuck with each year, yeah. um, just because we've formed a relationship with them. And I love the fact that if, you know, all the needs are met on Hilton Head, they push it out to Bluffton, to Jasper. So everything that is donated is used. And so it, it's maximizing the amount of kids that are getting to benefit from it. So that was a big sticking point for me. All right, let's go through the timeline. Started on November 1st, we'll actually end on December the 8th. Yes, we okay. started, the drive started November 1st. We'll run through Friday, December 8th with our big celebration on the 9th. And then everything that's been collected goes right to that Deep Well Santa shop for those families in need to come in and shop for the items they need for Christmas. And you have these boxes mm -hmm. all over the community. G give us an example of like where they are. So and number one, these boxes are hand wrapped. It was a quite the um, ordeal. We have 46 boxes in the community. Um, some ones that have been with us for a while um, are Hilton Head Physical Therapy, a proper barbershop, Lava Fitness. Um, we gained this year a few out in Bluffton, right. uh, Southern Barrel, BMW, um, Frankie Bones, um, and then we also Orange Theory. So if you see a box that looks like this with this flyer on there, uh, with the Deep Well's uh, most needed items for the 2023 toy drive season, mm -hmm. um, that is most likely us. And okay. yeah, like I said, 46 boxes. It's grown tw over 20 boxes since last year. And the toys are new and unwrapped mm -hmm. that you put in the box. Yep. For newborns up to 12 year old Yeah, newborns children. up to 12 years old. And yeah, no need to wrap them because they're going straight from the box to the shelves of the Santa shop. Are you amazed at how this has grown and how just it, it, how folks want to be involved? And, and you're, you're getting calls and emails from really all over the country now. It's um, it's really heartwarming to see the amount of support we're getting, especially from where we started on year one to where we are in year six, and to where it could potentially go with more and more people getting involved. I've always said, like Hilton Head in this area, there's people are generous here, and when it comes to giving back to kids, it seems to just be. People gravitate towards that, and it's it's growing and going in the right direction, and we are going to help more kids than we've ever helped this year. So last year we were at the WHHI was at when you, when the the um, the big truck came the deep well the deep well mm -hmm. truck came, and <laughs> so we were all helping bring out all the toys from your house. Your there are toys all over your house in your dining room, living room, bedrooms, and it just kept coming and coming. And it's just, it's just amazing. It's a beautiful thing to see. And it's all a huge community effort. I mean, it's just an idea that has sparked interest that people have grabbed a hold to and said, I'm fortunate, I can help someone who's maybe right. not as fortunate. Right. And the goal is every single year to help as many kids as possible in this community and the communities connected to ours have those special Christmas memories. Matt, you've uh, been a teacher, you have always been a teacher and a coach. Yes, ma'am. So children are very dear to your heart. Is that the, the passion that you just burns inside? It is, and it's also just growing up and knowing how special Christmas was for me and my family, and right. then you know seeing how hard my dad and mom worked to give us a good Christmas, and knowing how hard that is on parents, and you know things aren't always going well. So if we can lend a hand to help them still be able to give their kids what they need and what they want to bring a smile to them on Christmas morning, that's why we do what we do. Right. And um, that's Very that's good. what that's that that's our why, and that's why we continue to do it each year. All right. So look for the boxes all over the community. It's the sixth annual toy drive. Maybe we need need to add a, like a, a bigger title to it. It's just 
the toy drive. It's the Matt Bowman toy drive. It's, yeah, it's not Matt Bowman. <laughs> no, it's, I know. It's Matt Bowman and, <laughs> and everyone and else, else that contributes. Like I said, a total group effort, and we are very proud to be hopefully well, going towards our biggest toy drive yet in year six. Thank you so much, Matt. It's good to have you with thank us on you. our program. And again, donate. Bring a new unwrapped toy into one of the boxes you see around town.